Greetings, this is Bruce, the web design coach, and I want to give you another advanced React JS trick. And this one is on passing refs from the parent component to the child component. This is something that I see a lot of React JS app developers struggling with, and I want to help you with this. And I'm going to keep on giving you a lot of different components and tricks and advanced tricks on React JS. So com Definitely subscribe to this channel because I'm going to show you how to create this whole entire MP3 player as well. And this particular tip is on passing refs from a parent component down to a child component. And this particular one I'm talking about is here is the volume slider. Now this is a very simple range control. And by the way, I'm coming to you from noisy New York City, so you might hear some noise outside. Just ignore it. Now, let me show you how this works. This volume control right here is a child component, and I'll show you the code shortly. So if I play, let me just play this thing right here. So you might have seen my other React.js tip on changing the actual image down here for a sound wave. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the pause, and I'm going to play it again, and watch this. If I slide, you can hear it going down, and it goes it gets louder if I go to the left, to the right lower, um, to the left lower, and to the right louder. Now, let's go ahead and pause this. Now, let's go ahead and look at this code. So here's the deal. I have, and see, there's somebody with their car out there. So I have an audio player component and this is a parent component of all of these. This is the buttons for the different songs and also for the play and the pause button and the actual volume. Now coming down here to the render method we have our audio. Now audio is actually this is a, an HTML5 audio tag and it's actually hidden because I don't have any controls. Let me just show you this. If I put down controls right here and I say file save, you'll see that it, it will actually, when it re-renders, it shows up. But this is kind of ugly. I don't like this. I want to design my own. But watch this. If I change the volume control here, you'll see that this blue volume control changes. Watch this. It's a little slow, but you can see it moving. I'm controlling that. And this is invisible. Now, if I hit the play button, you'll notice that this play button actually goes. If I hit pause, it stops. And I'm, I will build another one for a mute soon. So let me go ahead and take that control out. And let's just save this. And then this will disappear. Got a noisy bus outside. Okay. So now you've heard the volume change when I slide this. Let me show you one more thing. If I turn on the console... In Google Chrome, I also have a console.log of everything that changes here. Let me clear this. And if I change it, you can see it changing over here. And I can go all the way down to zero. And you see right there, actually one, sorry. If I go all the way to the right, it should go to 100 on the console. So it's 100. And of course, if I go to the middle, it will go right to the middle, which is 50. Cool. Now, how does this work? Because for those of you that do not know what a ref is, a ref is a way in React.js to change the input uh, or a value of an HTML form input or actually grab or reference it. You're actually referencing an HTML element or actually any HTML element here, right? So I'm using the audio as a ref called, it's actually passed from its parent called audio down here. So the child ref is audio and then it becomes a prop. Go back up here. So this dot prompt dot child ref. But I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the volume slider. The volume slider is a child component that's actually right here. And don't worry, we're going to dissect this code shortly. Now, I know I might be going a little fast here. So this volume slider child component has a volume ref here. But the question is, how do I get this dot volume dot uh, this dot volume ref and I'm passing this as a prop as usual well here's what you have to do here's the key one of the keys you have to use react dot create ref 
and you create your own volume here, just like you do any state or any props. I'm saying this dot volume ref equals react dot create ref. So I'm creating the ref. Now I take this ref that I've created and I'm passing it as a prop to the child component. That's how it works. So this dot volume ref corresponds to this right here. This dot volume ref corresponds to react dot create ref. Now I'm passing it as a regular prop. So this obviously will be this dot props dot volume ref. And let's go up to the child component. And we have it right here. This dot props dot volume ref. And here is your ref. This is normally what I see a lot of React JS developers do is they don't know how to do this. So what they do is they take this code and they put it down into the render of the parent component without ever creating a child component. And your code can get very messy that way. So this is the way to solve that. So again, we're passing this dot volume ref as a prop. I just call it volume ref equals this dot volume ref, and this goes to the volume slider child component. Now, I go up to the child component, and I have ref. Here's my regular ref. Ref equals this dot props dot volume ref. So now I'm actually getting the ref from the parent passed down to the child. And but this is just like a regular function. If you've done functions before, I'm doing the same thing here. I have. And we're not done yet. We've got to talk about this too. So change volume is this method. And I'm just like you would pass this dot change volume as a props to the child component. You're also going to pass the ref the same way. Now, that's great. I hope you understand that. So we got it. So volume ref, this dot volume, we're passing it as a props. Cool. As a prop, sorry. And we access it with this dot props dot volume ref, and now we got a ref. But now the question is, how do I get the value of the range? Because I got a minimum of one, a maximum of, of 100, and I'm actually changing the volume, whoops, in another props here. So we got to talk about that. So what's happening is that on change, because this range, let me show you, this range has an on change event. So the on change event, we're just using the same exact function or method that's getting passed. So this dot props dot change value, okay, which is this, I'm sorry, change volume, which is this method right here that's getting passed to the child component. Okay, so now what's happening is now we got a ref. So now our child component can actually be accessed as a ref inside the parent change volume method. But here's the second key. We can get the value of that range using the current keyword. So if you recall, I have the ref here, this dot volume ref, and whenever the child component is running the on change function here, you need to use current. So this dot volume ref dot current. This is the current component. This is the current ref coming from the child component. And now I just put it into a regular JavaScript variable. And then this is where the console.log is firing off the new volume. And then I have this dot set state equals to new volume because I need to change this state. So I can feed it back as a prop into the volume. Okay, so this dot state dot volume is getting the new value of new volume, which could be 1 to 10, obviously. I know there's a lot of jumping around here, but that's what you do when you work with multiple components with React, right? Now, this works because when I re-render this whole entire parent component, it's now sending the state to this dot props dot volume, which is right here. And this is the value of that range. It's the value of that range HTML elements. That's how that works. Pretty cool, I think. And what's interesting is that it works like a charm. And now here, I just want to say that 
we also have to change the the volume itself on the the audio the html5 audio element and we're just changing the volume you could do this and i have my own reps here but because i have no because i don't actually have a child component i'm just using html5 i don't need to pass the refs using create ref i can just directly access the ref here so then it's just ref right and it's just ref dot i'm sorry this dot refs dot audio and it's just actually coming right down here and whatever the volume is right because i got and this ref particularly is coming from this actual parent component which is down here so it's coming right here from child ref so child ref dot uh, which equals audio and then actually in the parent we're actually just saying this dot props dot child ref and that's obviously audio so there's a lot of going back and forth here but this is very cool and i just want to use i just want to do a quick review because a lot of react js app uh, app developers don't do this and this is just regular native react now or react native so let's just look at this again real fast so i have my child component volume slider and i want to pass it the volume so it changes this element right here this html5 audio tag and what i'm doing is i'm actually passing the ref created with react dot create ref so i now have this dot volume you can call this anything you want and it gets passed as a regular prop to the child component so now it's this so whatever this is this ref is now this dot props dot volume ref up here it's not props dot volume ref and i got my ref just my normal ref and now what i'm doing is i can actually access it through here i can get the value of this range input by saying this dot volume ref dot current remember you got to do current and whatever attribute or whatever property i want here which is value and that's it now i got my variable i'm done now i can change the state I can actually change the whole value. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm dividing by 100, because when you use an HTML5 audio tag, the volume goes from it goes from 0.0001 to 1. So this actually is returning 1 to 100. So I have to divide it by 100 in order to make the in order because I can't go past to 1.0 for volumes. I just divide it. And really, that's how it works. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Definitely subscribe because I'm going to give you a whole tutorial on how to develop this whole MP3 player in React.js. And I'm going to give you a whole course on this. See you in the next video. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments.